Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? A couple months ago, I tried Yoder's bacon in a can and I was pretty impressed. There was a lot of bacon in the can and it was pretty good bacon considering it came out of a can and it lasts over 10 years. But it was pretty expensive at $18 for a nine ounce can. But can you really put a price on bacon that lasts over 10 years? Considering there's 54 slices of fully cooked bacon in the can, which would equate to a couple pounds of raw bacon, it's not really that expensive. But then I got a few comments that said I should try tactical bacon in a can or tack back for short. So I found a can of tactical bacon on Amazon. And at the time I bought it, I paid $30.17 for the same nine ounce can of fully cooked bacon, just like the Yoder's bacon. But I can't really put a price on things like this because I do it for you, the people. So you don't have to. Since my original purchase, the price has gone down to $27.69, which is still quite a bit more than the Yoder's. So let's see how the tactical bacon compares to the Yoder's bacon. And finally, someone agrees with something I've always said. I firmly believe that bacon has the potential to bring about world peace. And I also say bacon's what makes the world go around. This tactical bacon also has a shelf life of 10 plus years. And you guys always make fun of me for mentioning the zombie apocalypse. But see, I'm not the only one that believes this. The ingredients in the tactical bacon are exactly the same as they are in the Yoder's bacon. Pork, water, salt, sugar, smoke flavoring, sodium phosphates, sodium earthabate, and sodium nitrite. The serving size is also exactly the same, as well as the nutrition facts. Per three pieces of bacon, there's 60 calories, five grams of total fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 190 milligrams of sodium, no carbohydrates, and 5 grams of protein. With everything being identical, I'd be willing to bet they're made by the same company. So let's open up the can and see how the two compare. By the way, the can did not arrive dented, I dropped it while making the video. Once the can was open, again, it looked exactly like Yoder's bacon. I had to bang it a few times to get it out of the can. And once it finally slid out, and I unrolled it from the wax paper, once again, it looked just like Yoder's bacon. The bacon so far looked pretty darn good. That was until I got to this. What in the world is this sorry excuse for bacon? I'm definitely a little bit disappointed with that. There was none of this little bacon nonsense in the can of Yoder's. But once everything was unwrapped, you can see there's a lot of bacon. But just like the Yoder's, it's extremely thin. But one thing I did notice about the tactical bacon, it was all really stuck together and you had to really pull it all apart, which caused some of the pieces to rip. Since it's fully cooked, I tried to piece right out of the can. And obviously it wasn't crispy and I didn't expect it to be crispy. And it was good. It had a mild smoke flavor, but not a lot of overall flavor. You'd really think the canned bacon would be salty, maybe even a little bit saltier than regular bacon, but it's not salty at all. As a matter of fact, I prefer it to be a little bit saltier. Now I'm gonna heat it up two ways, exactly like I did the Yoder's. I laid about 10 pieces out on a bacon tray and then baked them in a preheated 375 degree toaster oven for five minutes. While that batch of bacon was baking, that kind of sounds funny, doesn't it? Bacon, bacon. <laughs> Then I laid out about eight pieces on a microwavable safe plate and then microwaved on high for one minute and 15 seconds. After five minutes in a 375 degree oven, our tactical bacon is done baking. And it really smelled good, but it didn't look nearly as good as the Yoder's I did exactly the same way. So then I drained the bacon on paper towels. Then after one minute and 15 seconds, the bacon in the microwave was done. And it also looked and smelled good. I actually think the microwave bacon looks better than the baked bacon. And it also looks as good, or maybe even a little bit better, than the microwave deodor's bacon. Once both batches of bacon were drained, I got them plated up. And it turned out to be the most beautiful and best salad ever. The bacon furthest away is the oven baked bacon. And the bacon closest to you is the microwave bacon. I actually think both batches of the tactical bacon look good but they don't look nearly as good as the baked and microwave Yoder's bacon did. So I tried a piece of the oven baked bacon first and it was somewhat crispy, but still pliable. Some pieces were crispier than the others. Again, a nice light smoke flavor, but not a lot of overall flavor. 
And then I tried a piece of the microwave bacon. And like I expected, it wasn't crispy. But somehow my wife can cook bacon in the microwave and make it crispy. I know I certainly can. I had the same thoughts on the microwave bacon. It was good, lightly smoked, but not a lot of flavor. And both the baked and the microwave bacon could have used some more flavor and salt. Even though I'm pretty sure both of these cans of bacon are made by the same company, I think the Yoder's bacon was actually better. Not only because the quality seemed a little bit better than the tactical bacon, but because it was a lot cheaper for pretty much the exact same product. Both cans of bacon remind me of the bacon you get at a cheap breakfast buffet. It's not the greatest bacon ever, but it's also not the worst bacon ever. It's actually pretty good. When I did the Yoder's bacon video, I gave the Yoder's a 9 out of 10 which I still think, whether or not they're made by the same company or it was luck of the draw, that the can of Yoder's that I had was a little bit better. So I'm giving the can of Tactical Bacon an 8 out of 10. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12, for the whole year. Or, you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high-quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.